What's going on YouTube? Back again, Roush Mustang. Mishimoto, um, radiator hoses and crap, and a lower thermostat. We're gonna do that step by step. Here's the hose kit and part number. Part number is MM Hose MUS 05 BK for black. Here's what you get in the kit. You get six different hoses. Pop the hood, lift the car up in the air so you can get under to drain the antifreeze. Your car may be different, but, um, well, it will be different depending on the radiator you have. But somewhere on the passenger side, there should be some sort of plug to undo. This one is here. Make sure you catch it in something. Uh, so you're just going to spin it around, loosen it up, and let it all drain out. Now you're going to take a pair of pliers, and you're going to squeeze this together and slide it off past where my finger is, because that's where the aluminum stops. All you got to do is get the clamp past the neck. Here's the lower temp thermostat we're going with. It's a 180. I think the factory is a 195 or something like that. So you see how the neck is. Uh, you're going to have fluid coming pretty much out of every hose. So what you're going to do is, as you're doing this, just let it drain and then uh, move on to the next hose once it pretty much is done draining. So you're going to take an 8 millimeter and there is a bolt on each side of this thermostat housing here. So we're going to remove both of these eight millimeters. So I undid that thermostat housing that gave me this piece. So what we're going to do now is find out which hose this is. It's probably this one. So I'm going to take this clamp off, pull this hose off and orientate this pretty much in the same direction. And then we're going to use worm, uh, worm drive clamps instead of these kind of clamps um, so I'm going to put it on loose enough where it's tight where it's not going to fall off but also loose enough where I can you know move it around a little bit during installation next one to come off is this one that loops behind the oil filter so you're going to need some long pliers to grab this one here and then that comes up and over and it goes to the um, Man, it's hard to get in here. That goes up and over to the thermostat housing in the center of your screen. So we need to take that hose off and then we'll just right away put the new one on. If you look through here, it's easier to see the hose right there. And actually this is how I got to the hose clamp on this bottom piece. I had to put a cut in the hose to get it off because this is pretty old and it's hard and nasty so I sliced it with a razor pulled it off so now that one's detached so I think we're done under the car so what I'm gonna do is go on top and I'm gonna pull this whole thing out as an assembly put it back together as an assembly that way uh, that way it's just a nicer setup and all I gotta do is just tighten the hoses down instead of trying to fit my fat arm in all these little crevices. So this car's setup is a little different than yours probably. You're gonna have a factory air box and all that stuff here. You're gonna have to remove that. I'm just gonna remove this, tilt it up out of the way because the thermostat housing things down there. And uh, that way I have access to it. Uh, you will have to remove, if you have a factory box, you're gonna have to remove, I would probably say remove the whole factory box because this hose here needs to come out straight up vertically. And I'm even gonna have to take this heat shield, disconnect this, because this is in the way. Um, so yeah, remove your intake to get to the thermostat housing area with the hoses. With the air box and everything out of the way, you can see this one here is clear to get out. We're gonna reach under the overflow, this hose here goes to the overflow so we're going to take that off and then clamp this hose 
pull this off the engine and this whole assembly will come out as one piece here. On the passenger side, you're going to have a hose clamp here, hose clamp here. This is just the top radiator hose that's all by itself. So this one's pretty easy, you just pop it off, pop it off. I have the hoses all laid out now and I have the clamps laid out where it's going to be the easiest to tighten them. You know, because you could have them flipped around or whatever. I'm going to assemble this one with the pieces before I'm going to assemble it here. And I'm going to have the clamps all pretty much snugged. But just leave them loose enough to spin the hose a little bit so that I can make sure it's on perfect. Then tighten them down. Put the passenger side one on. Tighten the two clamps. Now is an easy time to make sure your thermostat is seated correctly. So what I'm going to do, you just slide this in. You can either buy a new O-ring if yours is messed up. Or if it's not messed up, you can reuse the old one. But to reuse the old one, I'm going to take some of this right stuff here. I'm going to put it, you know, around the O-ring. And then I'm also going to put a little bit, like a super thin layer here just to help seal here and then uh, mush it all together. I'm going to put this in all loosely everywhere. That way I know the hoses aren't tweaked all funny or whatever. They're all facing the right direction and they're all under no tension. Then I'm going to come back around and I'm going to start by tightening this area. Then I'm going to tighten all the outside areas. So I have it on one side of the o-ring, I started pushing it in, then I got it here just on that one little angled surface which is what contacts this o-ring. So I'm going to push it in like so, right, nice and slow, it'll seat the o-ring and everything and then we'll tighten down these uh, 8 millimeter bolts here. Now we got everything started, leave it all loose like I said because um, Obviously this isn't how it's going to end up. Now we're going to get under the car and we're going to get this uh, hose here mounted. We're going to get this hose. We got everything in. You need to be conscious of one thing. The pulley on the power steering pump. Make sure it's far away from all the hoses. So we moved to worm gear style hoses all the way around. Tightened everything up. Everything looks good. I made it to where you can loosen and tighten all those clamps for the top hoses from the top and you don't have to mess with it from underneath. So this one's in and tight. That one's in and tight. This one, you wanna double check all your connections here. So all four of these connections I have where you can tighten it from a top, you sh you're gonna wanna do that too. So it's easy in the future if you have to do something. And then, like I said, make sure this pulley isn't going to touch here. So I got, like, pretty much my whole finger width. So now that all of this is tight, we have one last hose. And it's this one that goes to the overflow and goes in here to the overflow. So I'm going to take these clamps off, pull this thing off, and then uh, we'll get the new one put on. Now everything's tight. This Mishimoto hose is in. What we're going to do now, replace your air filter and all that stuff. Then we'll get to filling, bleeding, and then we'll be done. So, put your intake back together, and I'll show you how to bleed this thing. You're going to use a 50-50 mix. Um, usually I don't use this style antifreeze, but this is what was already in it. So we're just going to put more of it. You can use It doesn't matter what you use, to be honest, as long as it's all one thing. Um... So yeah, 50-50 mix. You're just gonna fill this up as far as it'll go. And then we're gonna have a bunch of air pockets. So fill it up as high as it'll go. Then you're gonna wanna start and let this thing idle to get up to you know 180 degrees or whatever where the fans should kick on. Once the fans kick on, you know it's fully hot and open. The entire time you're doing this, you're gonna be checking to make sure 
it doesn't drop too far, you're going to keep the fluid level pretty much full, right? And then you're going to want to check this in another day or two after driving it around to make sure it didn't any other uh, air pockets that could have been hidden while you were driving it good and hard could come out and then this will low, lower and then just top it off in a couple days.